How y'all doing? I'm Justin Watt. I'm from Bitten Arkansas. Today we're going to go over something very beautiful and breathtaking. It's the numerical pattern of the Bible being God's voice to us. Okay, the words light our path, but the numbers are how we diligently seek Him. If the letters are important in that beautiful testimony that we call a book, the, the, the numbers are just as important because you can't have the letters without the numbers. Each, each comma to comma, whatever number of words there are in between comma to comma is exactly what God calls it, not us. Okay, so for instance, Psalm 60 dash 4, Psalm 60 verse 4, you have given a banner to those who fear you. See, when God gives you something, it has a 10 involved in it. The rest of that scripture is that it may be displayed because of the truth. Now, I mean spiritual completeness. Okay, that's nine fruits, nine gifts. That's what we're talking about here. But the truth is. We're on numbers 10 and 12 today because we've seen this beautiful passage and got understanding from the Holy Spirit of how 10 is when God gives you something, but 12 is when he wants you to choose something, okay, guys? So say, for instance, let's go in sequence first, 10's first, okay? Uh, when the devil takes away, God gives back tenfold. He gave Moses the Ten Commandments. He gave the Egyptians ten deadly plagues. He gave the Pharaoh ten hardened hearts. Okay, uh, uh, Job, uh, Job got three sets of ten, seven sons and three daughters, seven thousand sheep, three thousand camel, and five hundred ox and five hundred CSs. That's that's three sets of tens. Daniel fasted for ten days. Okay, uh, but the simple truth is, twelve is when he wants you to choose something. So Jesus chose his father's business at twelve years old. You got God chose the twelve tribes of Judah. You have uh, Jesus uh, chose the twelve disciples. Uh, when Elijah was, was told to choose Elijah, Elijah was plowing with 12 oxen. Okay, guys. Job, uh, Jacob chose 12 stones to build the altar to. Okay, the same difference with every single thing in this, in this beautiful testimony as every other word, every other number. Three means direction. Four means change. When God gives you something, it has a 10 involved in it. Okay. So here in 1 Kings chapter 11, Verses 29, here we're going to find out uh, this, this prophet that I can't pronounce his name, so bear with me. Uh, he come to uh, Jeroboam and, and, and told him to do something. Now listen to what it says. Now that you have planted the seed, 12 means choices. 10 is when God gives you something. Okay, guys? Okay, so say for instance, First Kings chapter 11, 29. Now it happened at the time when Jeroboam went out of Jerusalem that the prophet Ajayah... <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, if you just use my ignorance to show that it's your glory is so true that the Holy Spirit lives inside this vessel right here and that it's not me teaching them nothing biblically but only being used by the Holy Spirit, the true powers of the Holy Spirit. If you use my ignorance to prove that glory, Father, I just praise and glorify and edify you for my trials and tribulations, Father. I thank you that I cannot pronounce the eight words. I thank you that I cannot, God, I cannot spell, I cannot do these things because you chose for me not to be able to, to prove your existence, to prove the truth that sets you free, the, true, the truth that, that, that was brought to me by your hand alone. In the name of Jesus, I just thank you for my ignorance. Now, his name is... A H I J A H. Okay, so that guy, the Sunanite, met him on the way, and he had clothed himself with a new garment, and the two were alone in the field. So there's the division part of it, and uh, the reason why is because King Solomon's about to lose his kingdom, and watch what he says. Then Ahijah took hold of the new garment that was on him and tore it into 12 pieces. Okay. And verse 31, 1 Kings chapter 11, 31. And he said to Jeroboam, Take for yourself 10 pieces. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Behold, I will tear the kingdom out of the hand of Solomon and will give 10 tribes to you. <laughs> See? God wants you to choose something has 12 involved in it. But when he gives you something, it has 10 involved in it. And he said to Jeroboam, Take for yourself 10 pieces, for this says the Lord, the God of Israel, Behold, I will tear the kingdom out of the hand of the Solomon and give 10 tribes to you. So so, so the so the prophet that I can't pronounce his name or pronunciate that word either, uh, he tore his new garment to 12 pieces so that this man Jeroboam can choose between these 12 pieces 
what ten tribes he wanted God to give him. See? Ain't that beautiful? It's just like Moses getting the Ten Commandments, okay? And God wanting us to fear his great name through these Ten Commandments, but it didn't work out that way. So, so God sent Jesus Christ with two commandments out of love. If you love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, if you do those two commandments... The other Ten Commandments fall in line. You don't have to focus on them. You don't have to do them. They come naturally with the two commandments that God wants you to choose to do because that's ten from Moses and two from Jesus. That's twelve commandments. <laughs> so He wants you to choose to love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength and to love your neighbor as yourself. You see? See how beautiful God's Word never changes? He only changes the four seasons, guys. And it says right here, it says clearly, then Ajaya, well, I can't say it clearly because I can't pronounce it as what? <laughs> I can't pronounce it his name, man. Here, I want y'all to see this here. In the name of Jesus, help us. All right, this guy right here, then this guy right here took hold of the new garment that was on him and tore it into 12 pieces. Okay, here, choose between these 12 pieces. And he said to Jeroboam, take for yourself 10 pieces. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Behold, I will tear the kingdom out of the hand of Solomon and will give ten tribes to you. Okay, so it started off to vision, right? They were by themselves in the field, okay? They were by themselves, two were alone in the field, right? Then it's double for his trouble. You see how it's division, double for your trouble. Choose ten tribes, get it? So, then that's exactly how you see 12 come to life right before your eyes that's the true powers of the holy spirit using those two numbers right there that we call numbers he calls names that's what those two numbers are for the holy spirit's voice to us to show us clearly 100 percent for a fact when god gives you something it has a 10 involved in it so grace is g-r-a-c-e you hold up five fingers when you ask for grace but when god gives you grace you hold up 10 fingers you see that see that how that works there? Okay, but 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 you need faith, F A I T H, okay? And when you have faith, you get grace. You get it? G R A C E. So that's faith, you get grace, okay? <laughs> see how perfect God's numerology is? We call it numerology. He just clearly calls it the Holy Spirit's voice to us. So y'all please jump on board. Please subscribe at the bottom. You're not following me. You're following the true powers of the Holy Spirit that's teaching you all these things. Now that the seed is planted, I'm just a faithful servant who's, who's spreading the gospel, who's trying to spread the seed and, and try to show people the true powers of the Holy Spirit through the true powers of the Holy Spirit that's trying to show you through me. Did y'all get that? Y'all you wind up and get that. That's the Holy Spirit talking to y'all. <laughs> okay, because there's no way I could, uh, a simpleton like me could obviously make anything make sense like that for sure. So y'all please jump on board. Be the five virgins full of oil. Please diligently seek the true powers of the Holy Spirit. He will conform to your mind. He will make his thoughts your thoughts. If you want that, that's what he will give you. If your heart's desire, it's all about your heart's desire mainly. He'll give you what your heart's desire is. But it, but but if, all he wants is for you to desire him. Okay? If you desire his knowledge like King Solomon did, like, like, like the true powers of the Holy Spirit showed me how to do, and he can show you how to do, because Romans 2.11, for there is no partiality with God. I can't stress that beautiful scripture enough, because that's the truest scripture I've ever come across in my life. Because what he did for them beautiful people in that living testimony, he has definitely done for this man right here. A wretched sinner who doesn't deserve his mercy, but has got his mercy without nothing. I have done nothing to deserve his mercy, and he's given it to me freely through his beautiful blood of his son, Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. And he has done the same for you if you just diligently seek it with all your heart, soul, and mind, and strength. And love him. Love him like he has loved us to give us his beautiful son. <laughs> Please, guys, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, I just ask that you draw nigh to you who you want to draw nigh to you, Father. In the name of Jesus, I just thank you for your beautiful Son's blood. In the name of Jesus, that he has given up for us freely. I ask that you help us, give us ambition, give us courage, give us confidence through the true powers of the Holy Spirit to give, us, give, give up our time freely like he has given up his blood freely, Lord. I thank you for this beautiful message. I thank you for this beautiful testimony of the Bible that you have given me the knowledge and wisdom and the fruit of the Spirit that pours out of my belly like living water. That you have given me all this knowledge and wisdom that the true powers of the Holy Spirit exist in each and every one of us because there is no way a wretched sinner like me could have any knowledge of wisdom like this unless it was by your mighty hand that has given it to me freely without nothing I have done. 
properly or, 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 or just to be obedient. That's all you ask us to be is obedient and faithful and loving. But when we are faithless, you are faithful, Father. And I trust and believe in your truthful word, Father. And I just honor and glorify and edify your great name. I lift your name up because you are worth lifting up, Father, not me. And I just ask that you do these things through the true powers of the Holy Spirit that, that, that dwells inside of each and every one of us, Father. Draw nigh to you who you would love to draw nigh to me, and to listen to these videos, to show the true powers of the Holy Spirit that's in this vessel right here, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that your glory may be revealed, not me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Y'all have a beautiful day. God bless you. Please subscribe at the bottom. You're not following me. You're following the true powers of the Holy Spirit that's teaching you all these things. There's no way a man in my statue, obviously a man that can't read hardly, um, it's making all this make sense, guys. Uh, it's just not me doing it. It's not my knowledge, not my wisdom, not my. It's nothing but my courage, confidence, and boldness that the Holy Spirit has given me. You know, y'all have a beautiful day. God bless you.